or as if Allah doesn't know what's really going on. This is important. We, we say, it's easy to say Allah knows everything. Easy to say. And then people say, oh, oh, Saad, you know some people, they do really bad things, but they don't look like they get punished. Like how come, why, why is Allah doing that? And then you're like, yeah, but, but what, Allah is going to like punish them on judgment day or what? Oh, so he has to explain to you what he's going to do. This is how this works. Because when judgment day begins and everybody's about to be judged, you're like, hold on Allah, I just want to make sure this guy who stole my ketchup from McDonald's gets what he deserves. Now we may begin. Okay, we have this sense of entitlement that somehow Allah owes us an explanation. Allah says, Allah does not, is not going to be one to inform you of what he does in the unseen. Why does he have to tell you? Okay, we have this sense of entitlement that somehow Allah owes us an explanation. Allah says, Allah does not, is not going to be one to inform you of what he does in the unseen. Why does he have to tell you? And you know, this, this disease that we have now, that, you know, things happen in my life, things happen in your life. And people really question a lot, why did that happen? Why did that happen to me, right? And then they say, my faith is in crisis until Allah reveals to me the secret behind why this happened to me. Until I know why this happened to me, I don't know, I don't know if I can trust Allah. Because I don't see the logic in it, He needs to convince me of His logic before I can uh, move on. This is the height of arrogance. And it's also, we, we don't, we, it's our dissatisfaction, but we allow it to turn into arrogance. Arrabbu Rabb. The master is the master. He doesn't owe me an explanation. I have to humble myself before him. You know, I was, when I was teaching Surah Dhariyat, Ibrahim salam's wife was very old. You know that, right? And Allah sent the angels, and what did the angels tell her? You're going to have a baby. She, she could have been like, oh yeah, now? Well, I, I was 20, I was 21, 22, 30, 40. You want to come tell me I'm going to have a baby when I can't even sit down without my bones cracking? Now, now I'm going to have a baby? This is, this is wisdom? This is what wisdom looks like? This is Allah's plan? Huh? She could have done that, yes or no? Because can she see the logic in it? No. Can anybody see the logic in that? No. All these years I'm living in depression because I can't give Ibrahim alayhi salam a child. And now, now when I'm probably going to die before he gets old, now you're going to give me a child. What does the angel say to her? This is what your this is exactly how your master said it. We're just delivering the news. I didn't come up with the policy. I'm here to deliver the package. Just this is what I'm He he has all the wisdom and he knows. Meaning, you need to trust what? The wisdom of Allah. The wisdom of Allah is perfect. The knowledge of Allah is perfect. It's not like he didn't know my situation and then he made this decision. Or he didn't consider everything before he made a decision. He makes a decision knowing everything. I'm the one who has lack in knowledge, not him. I'm the one who has lack in wisdom, not him. 